everyone and welcome back to the Heavenly Homestead. My name is Letty and today I'm going to the airport so it's going to be a seven hour round trip. So I decided to still share with you this quick video about how to start homesteading. If you're new, please remember to subscribe if you enjoy our content, check out more videos, and if you think that this information is valuable, please remember to like and comment down now, below. To me, a start a homestead, it begins even before you decide where you're gonna move, how many acres you're gonna have, and how you're going to go about homesteading, what animals, garden, and stuff. It comes down to how you're going to start. Is it that you're trying to find a more sustainable way and try to get out of debt, move to the country and live a more simple life? Or is it I want to buy a farm, I want things to be ready, I want to move in and start buying my own animals and start doing my own garden and have everything ready for me. Now, each one of those options have pros and cons, and that's what I want to talk to you today. Because before you start researching what kind of animals you're gonna keep in your farm or in your homestead, or what you know the size of your garden is going to be and how much food you're gonna can, it's, I think, one of the most important things is to be realistic in how you're going to do it and it comes down to the very beginning and where you're moving and how you are approaching that idea. The option number one in my head is to buy a farm or to buy a house. Now, if you've been keeping up with real estate, you know that right now that is a big investment. And although I have nothing against getting a mortgage and I think it's one of the smartest investments that you will ever make, I think that the, the chaotic um, world we're living in, it leaves you kind of wondering what's gonna happen. And sometimes when you are um, an average American, that can be a heavy burden to carry around because um, even though there are a lot of jobs out there uh, with the inflation that we are seeing you know you can get paid pretty much the same that you can get paid last year but now we have an increase in inflation so it it's a little bit trickier it's like we are I always say this but you know some people don't agree with me but it's like we're gonna decrease your um, bi-weekly check by a 20% uh, you're gonna do the same job but you're gonna have to be okay without just with just getting 80% of your check and again this doesn't come back to politics it comes back to the, the way that we're living today in America so buying a farm or hundreds of acres or a house that is really in our area for a couple of acres and a house that is a modular home with two bedrooms and one bathroom could go up to three hundred thousand dollars and it's not the perfect situation the house needs a lot of work it probably needs windows and it's like yeah it's it's not one of those um, it's ready for you to just move in unless you are willing to put the work and put the money little by little to fix it. Having said that, that takes me to the other option, which is buying raw land, which is what we did. Now in my head, it would have been easier to move to already a home and move to a property with water, septic and electric already installed. But that meant that I would have to trust that I was going to be able to make that payment. And the way that things were going in 2020, I really felt the need to find something that we could afford cash. And so we bought this property that now tripled in value today with everything going on. But back then, it was a, we were able to just 
purchase this property cash. So we did that and by doing that and paying most of the debt that we had while we lived in the city with all the expectations and all the things that we had in our heads while we lived in the city, when we moved here we knew that the jobs were not going to be as amazing paying as they were back home and even our business wasn't going to be as fruitful as it would have been in a bigger city. Now we did know that. But I also know that we could have moved to Portland and we could have made a lot more money, but we would have had to pay a lot more money in rent, live in a tiny apartment, and that wasn't the style of living that I wanted. So we made a conscious decision of saying, okay, we're gonna buy raw land. We're gonna pay for it cash and we're gonna save little by little, put water, put electric and put a septic and then think about bringing a home to our property. Now before you go out and buy raw land, you have to understand that there are a few things that you have to consider. Like if you're buying raw land, are you able to put a manufactured home? Are you able to build on it? Are you too close to the river? Does it get water? Like do you, do you get any kind of flooding? Is it in a ditch? Is it like a lot of things that will prevent you to make that piece of land your home does it have a driveway do you need an easement do you have to talk to your neighbors i mean what kind of animals do they have is it too cheap is is the 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 soil depleted those are all the things that you have to consider before you buy raw land so it is not an easy process i'm not saying it is i am saying that for us was the only option we felt in 2020 that we needed to have something in our name that it was ours and if things got really really bad we still could live in our property in our taxes of course yearly but we could still live in our property without having to worry about okay i need to make a mortgage payment now this is a wooded lot so we had to do a lot before we even thought about moving like building a really long driveway because we live far away from the road we had to log the property the guy that logged the property kept the money that's another story so we never saw a penny of all the logging that was done to our property and we even had to pay taxes for it but we paid the price because we were city people and dealing with um people that we didn't know and sometimes when you're coming from a city and you're buying a property cash you probably have a lot of money even though every single penny that we had in our bank account to buy this property was earned with a lot of sweat <laughs> tears and time um, that we're never gonna get back so it wasn't you know a perfect situation I'm not saying that what we did is what people should be doing out there but I just want to bring awareness at something that you should know from the beginning and keep in mind once you move to a smaller town or once you move to the country the jobs that you're gonna find there I'm not gonna be the same however However, they're not going to pay the same as it does in the city. However, if you can keep your job and the same money and you can work remotely, then you can probably afford to live the same way or similarly to what you could afford in the city. It's a different style. It's a different lifestyle. It's a different way of living that I absolutely adore. And I'd rather get paid less by living in the country than get paid more and living in a city where I just wouldn't be happy. So I guess what I'm trying to say with this video is that you really have to evaluate things before you even start looking for your property. Now, people don't have $100,000 uh, maybe your average American doesn't have a hundred thousand dollars in the bank to buy a property today and maybe my experience is something that it's not the typical scenario in 2022 which I completely understand but at the same time um, sometimes 
when we think about the idea of homesteading we think about the animals we think about the things we're gonna we're gonna build and the things we're gonna grow and how much money we're gonna save in groceries and how much money and in the end if you really think about it that's just part of it but it's not the beginning and it's not what you should be thinking about if you are trying to live a more simple life moving to the country can be simple can make your life a very simple life but if you're bringing with you amounts of debt or if you're bringing with you the stresses of um, money just moving to the country and starting over with a new job in a different place um, may be stressful for you and those are the things I want you to consider those are the things I want you to keep in mind and just evaluate because I'm sure your situation is completely different from mine and I'm sure that you know maybe your ideas could be completely I mean 100% better than when I thought uh, when we purchased this property I feel very blessed that we have this property and that we are saving and doing things little by little and not getting into debt um, for those reasons I mean if we can wait if we can make things work then that's what we're gonna do but we were in the hamster wheel for way too long living um, day to day you know paycheck to paycheck and that is not a good lifestyle not for me I was stressed I was anxious I was having panic attacks and it was really not the way to go now maybe it is the way to go for you maybe you love to live in the city maybe you love you know to have stuff and that fulfills your life and that's okay then this video is definitely not for you but I hope that my experience uh, can help somebody out there before they even start thinking about the typical things that you can see in a homesteading channel and that I share myself like the life with the goats and you know with our ducks and with our dogs and the the property that we have and the summers here and you know they are all wonderful and amazing but it took a while to get here and But it took a while to get here and we're not even starting. I mean, we logged our property, we're shaking the roots out, we're leveling. We are, I mean, we did a lot. And unless you saw this property before we moved in or when we bought it, which I was thinking about sharing a picture, but it's still out there in the internet. So I'm not gonna post it, but um, yeah, it's, it's, it comes, it, it has come a long way and I do have a video in case those of you that follow the channel I know who you are I wanted to share with you a little bit of what the property looked like in the beginning because I, my husband and I we had a vision this was heavenly and that's how it started so I'm gonna leave that video down below in case you want to check it out thank you so much for joining me today I hope that what I share with you sparked something, maybe an interest, maybe something that you want to research in case you're in that boat of wanting to homestead. Um, I always tell my husband, I buy a book or I get a book from the library and sometimes I get eight or nine books from the library and I quickly go through them and see what they are all about because sometimes they say okay this is about how butchering um, rabbits and then I go through and I'm like oh, there's no pictures there's no good explanation so I move on and then I check the other rabbit book that I got and you know I always get something useful from each one of those books however it doesn't mean that each one of those books were amazing I haven't found one that I can tell you it covers everything that I've learned but what I can tell But what I can tell you is that I hope that with my videos that's what you do. You know, you go through my videos and when you watch one, you can keep that in mind. 
and maybe look somewhere else and get more information and more information until you come up with your own theory you come up with your own ideas about what you want to do and i hope Fully and hopefully you're not jumping into something that's going to be too much for you. I've seen a couple of cases locally of people that bought properties in 2020 because of what was happening, bought chickens, bought all the rabbits, bought all the... and now they're selling everything because they just don't have the time to homestead. Um, <laughs> you know, they're working, they're busy, they have to make their payments they move to a different state you know what i'm saying some people are not regretting but kind of walking back from that decision of homesteading in 2020 after all the scare of the virus so i i hope that with this information i just can be of a source and maybe you can dig deeper and see what's the best option for you. So, thank you so much for being here today, guys. I'm going to go get moving because I've been trying to record this video for about an hour. And there's a lot to be done here. So, talk to you guys next time. Bye, guys.